Hey guys, so I don't really look my best right now. Um, this is, of course, somebody texts me when I'm making a video, right? Oh my god, I'm popular. <laughs> anyway, um, so this video is a response pretty much to Reborn Princess 53's video. Um, her parents, I think, I think that's who it is. Yep. My, her parents, um, got a poodle. And I thought he was just the cutest thing ever. Um, and I also wanted to make this video in memory of my dog. My parents had um, a toy poodle. And he was the cutest, cutest, cutest thing in the world. And we got him for free. 100% free. Like, I wasn't alive yet. But, um, still, they got him for free. And he was a purebred, his parents were top show dogs, and everything like that. The only reason he was free was because he was born with a condition called Blue Doberman Syndrome. And it's pretty much an alopecia type thing, where there are certain like spots of like on the skin where the hair is really thin or there isn't any. And he was pretty much a hairless toy poodle. He was the cutest thing ever, and his name was Yoda, if I haven't said that already. Um, Yoda was my, like, best friend growing up. We were pretty much inseparable. It's me when I was a baby, and it's Yoda. And, um, his owners were going to put him down, because no one would want to buy him, blah, blah, blah. Well, my parents did, and he was an amazing dog. He really was. He knew so many tricks. He'd go bang, and he'd, like, lie down on the floor, pretend to be dead. And he'd say dance, and he'd, like, jump up and down with his arms. Um, and he was just, like, the sweetest little puppy ever. And he was always so little, so he was very, like, kid-compatible because... I'd be petting him and he'd be like the perfect height and he could jump up and like reach my shoulders. But um, yeah, I miss him. I just thought this would be a cool opportunity to tell you guys a little bit like about myself. Um, that was my puppy when I was little. Um, he was always like my best friend, constantly and we had to put him down because he was failing. He had arthritis, he kept getting blisters everywhere, and they would pop and bleed, and he had a hard time walking up the steps, and it was just horrible. And um, I remember going to school that day thinking, I'm gonna come home and he's not gonna be there. And like, uh, it was just going through my mind how awful my grandma like must have felt because she had to like bring him back in the car and everything. And like, I just wouldn't be able to do it. I'm surprised that I took it so well when I was younger. Um, I took a lot of things well, surprisingly. Um, my parents got divorced. Well, they aren't really my parents, they're my grandparents. They got divorced right after they both adopted me. And crazy, crazy life. But um, I surprisingly handled death and everything like that extremely well a lot better than I do now um like I can step on a bug and start crying <laughs> no I'm just kidding but that's my little man he's the cutest thing ever I'm holding this up here so maybe I can make this as the icon for the video oh, I miss him but now of course I've got Jack and Jack is my um, my Shetland sheepdog. He looks like a lassie. He's so cute. I'm gonna put a picture of him right here. Isn't he cute? He thinks he can drive. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching my video. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and um, yeah. Bye.